Now, for the most part, our amenities and housing is pretty good. We're going after our neighborhood, so I'll be able to kind of pump out a lot of those. Uh, I'm, I'm boosting production all around the Empire because we're sending internal trade routes back to London now. Uh, I've been all over the place in terms of my trade route strategy, but that seems to be the best plan as of the moment. Unfortunately, though, I do want to make a mention I still haven't done that good of a job of improving Western Europe. I made that kind of a focus in the last video, but I got distracted because I was getting excited that I was, you know, hooking up with, uh, well, hooking up the entertainment complexes in all the cities. Uh, that was that was good, but now I'm kind of like, oh, I haven't, I kind of dis, yeah, disregarded this. We're going to go after another city. We're going to be settling the Pacific Coast for the first time, and I'm a little bit concerned because this would be an awesome opportunity for Japan. Uh, to maybe make a, an invasion of our New England Empire, I guess, in North America. Uh, yes, yeah, so you stay right there. Yeah, we're pretty much only having housing issues. Amenities, for the most part, has been fixed. So I, I'm, I'm really, 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 really excited about that. Very, very happy that we managed to one quick th quickly finish that so fast with the amount of cities we had. Uh, I, was, I was definitely surprised, although I need to anticipate that there's going to be a lot of other amenity hits uh, in the future. And that is right. I've been holding on to this... Great merchant, Sarah Breedlove, who, whoever that is. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Breedlove. I don't, I don't know who you are. Uh, holding on to that person because she'll be giving us tourism to all the civs we have a trade route with. Even though I'm not really going for a cultural victory, I think that could be still kind of fun. So yeah, I want you to settle here. We actually get quite a few amenities, and then we'll get actually some really nice campus bonuses in the city. That that's the the key. Okay, so how are you doing? You're going to grow in eight turns. You could use a farm. You could probably use, uh, you're probably lacking in, no housing, you're doing fine. Never mind. I'm wrong. You got, good job, Nance. Pretty good. Okay, so bank, even more for even more gold. Um, I do love production in, in especially London. So let's focus on this here. Yeah, I'm going to focus on that there. Uh, kind of holding on to gold because I was able to purchase a zoo. And the zoo was, I think, a big contributing factor of, of helping a lot of my core cities back at home. Back at home. Uh, how is Birmingham doing? So you're at zero right now. That means that if I take any of these, remember these units, we have those garrison units or bonuses. So a lot of for a lot of these cities, if I take the units out, it's like boom, they're gonna be back into the negatives. Uh oh, new wars. Carthage versus China. Professional sports. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I guess. Question mark. Okay. So you can go with my bank. Because you have nothing else to do. There it is. Um, although, yeah, you're fine housing-wise. Or, I mean, so, I'm sorry, amenity-wise. That's what you need is housing. So, yeah, go with the lighthouse. Six turns. Sounds like a plan to me. Um, you go back to building the, uh, the science buildings. That's kind of a top priority in some of my cities that have mountains. Because I started this campaign without mountains. And that has made things kind of difficult here. I mean, yeah, we had mountains in Scotland. But Bristol took a long time to get up and running. Now it's a great production city, but it took a little while to get there. So here we go. Here's the enlightenment. We're going to get, uh, we're going to give a nice amenity penalty. I'm sorry, Your tourism penalty to a lot of the civs that were doing good in the culture victory screen. So it, what is this? Amenities to at least all cities with, oh, with at least two specialties. That is great. But amenity wise, we're fine. Don't want to get rid of retainers just yet though. Oh, that's good. 100% science. Okay, so we can we can afford to lose a little bit of gold. We're making too much. So let's catch up in science, right? 100% gold yield from commercial hubs, hub district, district buildings. Whoa. Uh, that's pretty useful too. But yeah, let's focus on science. Rationalism sounds like a good idea. Let's see how much money we lose from this. Because there might have been something else I could have better replaced. Actually, I'm probably not making much from Merchant Confederation. How much money do I lose? Oh, that's that's nothing. Okay, never mind. I don't I don't feel bad anymore. <laughs> I don't feel bad anymore. I, I probably should have changed though. I think if I would have swapped out those you know policies, it might have worked out a little bit better. But it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Okay, so you're still at plus one. Still considering this here. Oh, I don't want to destroy those tiles. Those are not good tiles for me to destroy. Armory, a bank. We don't need more gold, man. Yeah, let's let's take this this let's throw down a Do we need that either? I don't think we do. I really don't think we do. Go with the bank. 
be one of the first cities to have a bank, because we don't have very many banks in the Empire. The Bank of England. That's what we need. That'd be cool. We should we should make that a thing. Why haven't I said that before? And when am I going to fix this, Drew? I don't know. I was going to plan on going the whole game. I know that I've made several references to it. Like, I have not fixed this yet. Hmm. Okay, so I'll fix that now. I'm at 2,000 gold. I've done a good job for the most part up until now in terms of using these guys. Okay, so I know that I have an antiquity site here. Oh, I've got two. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you for sending me over here, but first, Bamo Builder. I could also purchase another one of those archaeologists. Oh, no, I can't anymore. Next turn, I can. Those things are so expensive, though, I swear. Okay, another bank. Going after economics. Market. Uh, I guess. I mean, you don't have the population to do anything else. Can you... Do you have any adjacency bonuses? You do not for anything. Um... Mass or Manchester's already at six population though. That I remember when it was at two. <laughs> I don't know why I made. I don't know why I talked about that, but it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Okay. So building this in the tundra would be, I think, ideal. Give us even more gold, baby. Okay. We come back here. Uh, Nance can get me another builder. And you're on your way, right? Yeah. You're making your way downtown. Uh, of course he went here. I think we already have at least two of these online. I think I might have even trade. You stole gold away, didn't you? Another? Okay, okay. That needs to change. What's up with that? Someone's up in England stealing gold away. Or, I don't know if they're stealing gold away. It doesn't look like they're actually stealing it away. But it just, it just pops out for some reason. I'm going to pass on these admirals. I don't need them. Not yet, at least. I'd rather wait for a good admiral when I'm at war. Okay, so you come here. Uh, the other plan was to take this builder, go there. I'm trying to remember like all the things I needed to do. While I still have this museum up, I should purchase that guy. Do you need the arena? Arena, I guess so. Actually, no. Do the lighthouse just like your friend in Florida. Because we needed extra housing anyways. And then Bamo. I'm liking the infrastructure. The infrastructure is, is working out pretty well. Especially in a game where, you know, we start off with 16 sieves. Uh, there are... It's pretty much impossible to... Or it's it's pretty much possible to get anywhere. I think in the late game. A spy from England. You, what did you do? Captured during... Oh, okay. A spy from England of Kong... Or Empire of Congo. Sorry. was captured. Alright, good. Um, we need to do... A, we, need to, we need to do something about these spies. Because this ain't good. This is not good. So you're going to come over here. Um, I, uh, can I uh, can I purchase one? I don't know if I want to. A spy. No. I don't. Can I not build spies? I, I Do I not have access to spies yet? It looks like it. Maybe I don't. Okay, so two more envoys. I still have, I still have retained my suzerain bonus with Buenos Aires. As well as with Toronto. I don't think there's anybody else I can get lucky with. I could maybe go after Afghanistan. That would be pretty cool, actually. Levanta, I don't super care about. Afghanistan is just going to give me more... Uh, it's not going to do that much. Production in every encampment, I really don't have very many of those. I'd rather just go after Hong Kong. Yeah, let's do that. And and Hong Kong is, is only, you know, someone... I think it was Japan only had nine uh, points with them, so... It's actually a good idea. It's a good investment. I think. Okay, so, yeah, can you come improve some of this stuff? Or, is this, this is not pillage, is it? I can't tell if that's just, no, the mine, it's moving. It's not pillaged. It's fine. Okay, so you're going to repair this. I've got some, some backup forces coming. And, uh, bam, okay, we, I didn't anticipate boosting something. We can choose an artifact from France or an artifact from the city-state Amsterdam. They're both dead. I don't know which one would be more valuable. doesn't really matter. I'm going to go with France. I tend to find those more like other civilization uh, theming bonuses, at least in the in the Great Works window. So I'm going to do that there. Okay, so my factory is coming. My factory is here, pretty much. Hmm. 
I, I played with the idea of going to war. I don't think I'd go to war in this video or the next one, but I am anticipating probably one more, at least one more, at least. I, I, I At least maybe two or three wars, maybe. See, what are you doing with your life? I don't know what they're doing with their life. Economics okay, we're, we're boosting the crap out of things. That is, that is nice to see. That's a nice change. Okay, now you can go with my bank. Wait, 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 wait. Spy. Yes, wait. Go for the spy. You got it. You're going to come there. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna upgrade him. I saw him, and I was like, you know, why not? I've got all this money. Let's upgrade a few of them. Stock exchange. Seven. Seven turns for seven gold per turn. Or with an aqueduct. You're over your housing limit. Oh, that's so much production. I don't think I can do that. Like, I'd rather not build the aqueducts. It's only pl plus two. Uh, cities do not yet have existing fresh water. Receive up to six housing. Yeah, we don't need this. I'd rather wait for neighborhoods, which I don't have yet. But they're coming. Yeah, they're coming. You go to the shipyard, too. Every English city, at least in the British Isles and in, in, in Ireland, need they need a shipyard. Okay, amphitheater for you. Commercial hub, I don't think so. Go with a granary for now. Let's get this guy up. And uh, I'm going to purchase you a builder so we can get these these whales working and online. You don't need the extra production anymore, so I'm going to switch you out. Who really needs it? You do. You're the city that really needs it, actually. That's going to be my go-to. Send them to France. If you don't know, just send them to France. Yeah, I think that is... Uh, that is the plan. Also, I don't know. Yes, I'm pretty sure I do know, but I'm not sure if something like happens at some point, but these Cliffs of Dover, I can't work. I don't believe. In the early game, I for sure could not work them. I don't know if that changed at all. Obviously, the, you know, the, the game's not suggesting I build anything there, but people have been asking me that, and um, I'm pretty sure I still can't do anything with it. Okay, go to Liverpool. Nice. I love it. I love it. So neighborhoods are, are coming. We just got to be patient. Can you give me any bonuses to a campus? Yes, you can. Oh, perfect. Okay, that's why I wanted those those jungles. Okay, so you build there. You still have two more actions. I like it. Do you really need the product? I guess so. I guess keep going, London. Why not, Drew? Just give it to him. Don't be all stingy with it. Uh, okay, so, so somebody start. Oh, oh, London's starving. I didn't even realize you were having that you were struggling. I mean it makes sense. Uh, it's it makes a lot of sense because you aren't growing very much. Okay, come out over this way. Let's get those whales. And there's two of them, so it's kind of perfect. Okay, so bam. Looks like I don't know what this is, but it doesn't matter. Norway, also Norway's dead. There should be more value in that, I feel like. If I took a great work from a sieve that's dead, <laughs> there should be more value, I feel like. Makes sense to me, but I don't know. I mean, whatever. I'm not mad about it. A little bit. Kind of want to purchase this tile just so that we can lock off. For the most part, the, we've we've locked off the, the tiles almost. I mean, if you want to settle Mexico, you can do that. But, uh... You know, that's that's about it. Maybe we should go with some planes. That would be fun. Or oil. I don't see what we would do with oil, though. Not not yet, at least. Broadcast tower is a good idea. I've got several campuses around. Electricity. Okay, so clearly I'm doing much better in science because I'm seeing three turns, five turns. You know, some crazy low numbers. So we should go maybe after our boosted stuff. Own three privateers. I haven't gotten three privateers out. I've gotten one. If I purchase one more, I think I'll be able to boost this. Drew, is it really necessary for you to boost this stuff? It's it's six turns. Look at this stuff. Oh, I'm going to start shooting down this tree. Look at that. Nine turns for something at the very, very end. If I start really focusing on boosts, too. No nope, passing still. If I really start focusing on boosts, we'll be, we'll be good to go. Can you build a campus for... No, don't do that. Yeah, no, don't do that. That's stupid. You can build me an entertainment complex, which I still think is a good idea. Yeah, I was actually planning on building it here. 
until I had a somebody walk by. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, that's one out of range. And I'm not willing to take care of any of this other stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I think you hold on to that stuff. You need a disc you need something new. Here, I'm gonna go to stock exchange for now. And then we'll we'll figure it out later. Okay, so find me a new city. We just got our infantry units. This is actually perfect as England because we get these, you know, these new melee units instantly, and it's like bam, right there, you get a garrison bonus. Amenity wise, you're gonna be fine. Okay, so I just uh, upgraded a musket man. So go ahead and check this, but I'm 90% sure you cannot upgrade that stuff. About 90%. There's another site. What am I going to be finding over here? That's another thing I need to keep in mind is uh, in the new world, we didn't start here. Let's go with Amsterdam now. Get one of both. How's, how's my tourism? Is it, It looks like it's, uh, it's okay. 115 out of... Congo's at 356. That's what I'm saying. If I'm going to get myself into a war, I might as well go after someone that's actually a threat to victory. So, Romans or the Congo, I think, are a good idea. Obviously, the Romans would be the easiest. Um, but I'd have to get artillery first. That's an absolute necessary... Uh, absolute absolute ness necessity. There you go. I was looking for the word. An absolute... Uh, Nestle? I was trying to think of something. Here we go. Here's one in Brittany. That's, uh, we've got a ton. That's not, not even a problem. I'm going to keep passing. I'm not going to do it. And then you guys come out over here. So what I'd like to do is uh, go back to Felipe and say, Hey, yo, what's up, brother? Can you uh, hook it up with Open Borders Agreement? That is... Uh, and then I'd start to kind of like... Let's see. Let's just see if I can do that first. Uh, no. No, it's not happening. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Maybe I should have eliminated you. No. If anything, I could start purchasing a navy inside of Nance. I could. I mean, you're not doing anything. I could just start building uh, a navy inside of Nance, too. That's not a problem. Industrial zone would be good, because I, I do find you to be like, one of my best cities. Hmm. Let's say, let's let's give you, just see, I don't want to destroy any of these. This is probably the worst yield. Ah, uh, yeah, let's do it there. I don't want to destroy that much food, because I feel like we don't have that much food. I've got to do it, guys. I know people are upset whenever I destroy yield like that, but i got to do it. Maybe I'll purchase a shipyard for you. Oh, you, we need more privateers. So I imagine, did we get up any privateers? This is a uh, this is a replacement to the privateer, right? Yeah, we didn't build any of these because we didn't need to. This would take twelve turns. Sea dog. I mean, I guess because you don't have anything else to do, we'll do it. But let me just uh, on the off chance, let me just look. Eight hundred. Okay, there. Purchase that. Um. And that should help kind of boost that a little bit more, right? Shipyard? It should. Yeah, see, so you can't build anything on Clefts of Dover. That's, that's what I figured. Okay, so I think we're going to go after Rome because they might be the biggest threat to me, and Rome might eventually give me access to attacking the Congo. I'm just really excited that we were kind of discovering technologies right there at the end of this video, where it was like three, four, five, six turns. So it seems like we should be able to boost past up. Uh, it, it's, it's, we kind of needed that though, because it's going to be a race. The Congo are, are really far ahead. Uh, Rome is, is pretty far ahead. Trajan is going to be tough to, to catch. Although with a war, if we do go to war with him um, and eliminate him, or at least just distract his resources, that should be a pretty I think good tactic, but um, anyways guys, we'll figure out what we want to do with those two enemies in the next one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.